Tiger Eaton is going to be the first in. He's queuing up his tunes. Olympic bronze medalist. In for his line. And his, uh, his coach, Neil Mims, Jacksonville legend, standing by, heart racing. Starting his line out super strong so far. Backside flip, fake, he knows grind. Wow. Neil told us that Jagger was going to come out with his absolute best stuff because this is the final. That's what you're seeing. That's what you have to do in the final. You've got to give it everything. Kick flip, back lift, crooked grind through the double kick. Exceptional line so far. She covered the whole course already, covered the flat banks, rails, transition, hovers, kickflip, frontside board slide, and good we, level of technicality. We talk about how Jagger always stays on. And oh, he does it again. Wow. <laughs> that run. He just turned the heat up all the way. Coming straight out the gate here in the Super Crown Final. Jagger, Eaton, look at that transition skills. The only person to hit that so far with the nose grind. And there's that kick flip, 180, the fakey nose grind. Coming out fake. He kept his speed on every single trick. Everything was a hammer. Crooked grind through the double kink. Flawless run. You said it, Jeff. Everything was a hammer. There, there was no more room to add or improve anywhere in that run. That was incredible. That is going to set a nightclub. Look at that 9.6. First six. guy of the day, 9.6. That is the highest line score of 2021. Yeah, that's just a taste. Okay. 2016 Super Crown Champion Shane O'Neill on the course. Starts off with a switch flip, backside lip slide. Crooked grind, nolly kick flip. Solid technical combination. It's a good course for Shane, but he skates with such a high level level of technicality that there's a lot of room for error as well occasionally. Nolly backside heel flip, boom! <laughs> hey, which when things are going Shane's way, though, it is an absolute thing of beauty, and he is looking comfortable. He is just steady cruising, nice clean 360 flip. For Ten seconds. Switch backside oh, tail slide. Wow. Well, way to follow up, a 9.6. And that's the last trick in there on the buzzer. Right at the buzzer, Shane O'Neill putting down an absolutely perfect run, timed out with one second left, seals it with the backside big spin. Beautifully done, classic Shane. There's that first trick. Way to start your first line with a switch flip. It's a backside lip slide and then a crooked grind, nolly kick flip. Yeah, that's why he's the most technical guy in the world, in my opinion, is because he can just throw that out there all day long. Tricks that no one else really does with that consistency. So, scores in, 9.5 for Shane O'Neill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this standard is just going to the moon already. You never know. Here we go. Gearing up switch. Switch front side flip tail slide. Oh. How many people can do that trick? Not many. That's what we were talking about before, Paul. When, if, if he makes his tricks, he's so technical, mostly switch tricks with flips involved. It's difficult to like do tricks that are on a higher, more technical level than him. Right. He makes and, and we don't see many people doing regular kickflip front tail. So to do it switch means a lot. Felipe Gustavo putting down first of four single trick attempts, doing what he needs to get done out here. Nine club, 9.0, Felipe Gustavo. Jagger gearing it up. Jagger does not fall. I'm going to say that right now. Jagger does not fall. Let's see what he's got. There's that switch backside nose blunt slide. It's Insane. It's insane how focused he is and like never gets overly anxious or overly psyched. Just gets her done properly. Beautiful switch backside nose blunt slide. Again, one of those tricks not many people do. Not many people do well. And when you do it like that, full speed with such clean execution, judges love to see it. Confidence shines. He's gonna be in the driver's seat. After that, it's it's gonna be 
Everybody trying to chase down. Jagger Eaton, nine Nothing point nine. zero. Jagger Eaton back on top, 18.6. Gustavo Ribeiro, down in eighth place. Needs a make here. Oh, oh and he gets it. Oh. Wow. Stomping it, bolts, Jeff. So that's an over-rotated 360 flip, the front side board slide, a bigger flip board yeah. slide, right? Yes. But for people to understand exactly what was going on, a regular tray flip, and then he pushes it around the front board. That's so gnarly to do on such a wide metal hubber, spinning and flipping like that with so much board contact on, very easy to stick. And to come out fakey too, that shows an extra level of control. The visible replay tells the story. Gustavo Ribeiro, 9.1. Next up, Niger Houston. Niger needs to make the very best moves that he has right now. Needs these tricks. Cap backside nose one, true professional right there. That's how Niger does it. He feeds off pressure. He doesn't need it, but when it's on, he's gonna step up. Here's what you get, cap back nose blunt. Good boned locked execution. Look how steep the board goes on that backside nose blunt. Another nine club. <laughs> of Salt Lake City, so he's been there. He got a taste of it. Oh, 360 kickflip crooked grind. Wow. He needed it, he got it. That's gonna be his second huge score. You can see that just locks in beautifully, comes out as clean as you can. He's psyched on that. We Put the lock down in the crooked grind, lands both feet over the bolts, he's psyched. So that'll be his third score and his second huge score. That 5.2 line score is gonna be the next one that's gonna have to go. He's gonna have to get rid of that. Nine club, 9.2, Gustavo Ribeiro. That is good enough for the lead. But he's A little bit of heat on Nigel right now. Needs to lock down. Kick flip, backside lip slide. Oh, he was like, way to back it up. He's like, that, I'm, I was gonna do that, so I'm gonna do it. Even though you bailed it before. Wow. Sorry, Alex. So Kelvin put down the kick flip back lip for an 8-8. Oh. It just makes it look too easy. You can see the extra lever of ball control he has when you see a slow-mo like that. Just the catch and the float and the just full control. So 7.8 or better puts him in the lead. Feeling confident on that one. 9.2 for Nija. New leader with an overall score of 25. Lucas Ribello coming in first in fourth place. His lowest score is a 7.7. .7. Anything better than that will help him. He can't, he can't take the lead with this one trick, but if he gets rid of that 7.7, .7, that could change for his final try. Whoa! Frontside 270. Okay, we saw him do the nollie version of that earlier. Now he does it straight ollie. Frontside 270 switchback tail. Frontside 270 switchback tail. Look at the twist and the hips and then just pulls it out with absolute strength and authority. It's a nine club. Nine club, 9.3 for Lucas Ribello. That's one of those tricks that nobody else is really doing. Nobody else has got the two seven, front side 270 and front side 360s like that. No. Lucas Ribello, a 9.4, puts him in first. Oh! Oh! 270 to switch back lip. So Lucas out. doing what he's good at and making it. Jeff, talk about it, 9.4. I mean, to go 10 foot like that before you go over the rail, twisting your body like that and landed in switchback lip. Again, look how blind he is. 
on that. His whole hip and his whole body is twisted one way, and he has to pull it right back. Exceptional trick. That's going to score ridiculously high. Let's see what the judges think. This is when the judges have the toughest job and have to earn their money. 9.4. That's the score he needs. Followed by Lucas. Nine club, 9.1, 9.1, wow, great score. He stays in second place. Niger just comes back firing. Kelvin Hoffler in fourth, needs a 9-2 to move into the lead. Ooh. Wow, backs it out with a frontside kickflip lip slide. What do you which, think? How does that compare to backside, frontside? Again, depends on which way, of, uh, whether a guy favors frontside or backside, which they generally do somewhat. I'm going to say the frontside one is a little rarer than the backside one. It is, yeah. Right, and a little more awkward to get over the rail than and, backside. And the beauty of, of Kelvin is that he already did the backside one, so he's like, hey, I got them both. It doesn't matter which one you favor, I can do them both. <laughs> 8.8 for Kelvin Hoffler. It's good enough for second. I love this crowd. They're giving a lot of feedback. They wanted a higher score. No, much like the women's, it's good. it might come down to the very last tricks here. Jagger eating 9-6, 9-0. If he puts something down here that's big, it, it could be over. Trick. He wants a rebate. He's like, give me a rebate. Nolly 270 to switch back Smith. I, what is what is it? The, the crowd's mad that, that that's not getting scored, but hey, it's for the best. Bro, of course we was gonna be mad. For number one, I'm pretty sure the SLS course was slippery. Number two, if he did that in the streets, it would be okay because he can just cut that out or you know what I'm saying? But I kinda agree with SLS. It wasn't a make, so you know, it's cool. But in my opinion, I seen that in person, I'm like, dang, it, it low-key was a make because I feel like the SLS course is slippery. Calvin Hoffler only has one score. 7.1 in the line. Oh! Yeah, kick flip backside lip slide. So here's the story. Don't listen to your friends, Calvin. Take it to forward. Stay on. Right, gets it done. Stick with the tactic that got you there before. Kickflip backside lip slide, beautifully executed. He knows that's gonna put a decent score on there. Beautiful catch on that backside kickflip too. Look at it, right above the rail. Exactly where you want that board to be to maintain control. A 6.3 or better, moves him into the top four and he gets it with an 8.8 and he is in second place. Yo, I don't even know how Kevin Hoffler even got an 8.8, .8, bro. Like, I seen that in person, and, like, he kick flipped, then he, dude, it was crazy. Like, he kick flipped and caught it so fast and turned his body, then it was so fast. Like, it was in the blink of an eye. If you blinked your eye, you probably would have missed the trick. But anyways, in my opinion, I feel like that scored a 9 because the way he did it and the speed he had. You can even sit on his face. He's like, bro, what? I didn't even get a 9. Yo, so I went to the Jacksonville SLS, and I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. The pro skaters are crazy. Like, these skaters are actually crazy, bro. Like, they mastered something in skateboarding. Like, I don't even know. But anyways, it was a good SLS. There was a few robberies, but everything went out great. The energy was good, and Jacksonville, Florida was lit, bro. The crowd was real, all that. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.